Today I'm gonna make a tray decoration with this tray I got from Dollar Tree and also this rabbit cutout that I got from a sign at Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to start by taking off the decorations that came on the little piece. And since you will be able to see both sides, I will be working on both sides. I'm going to use this paper bag to give it a little bit of a textured effect. So I'm just cutting this bag in half. I'm gonna crumple it up. And then I'm gonna use some of this tacky glue to smear all around on my rabbit and use it to glue the paper bag onto my little bunny. So I'm just gonna smear that glue around really well, making sure I get the edges good and getting an even coat of that glue. And then I'm gonna press my bag on and then I'm gonna go around the edge with my scissors and cut the extra off. And I don't think it necessarily needs to be a super tight trim. You can kind of crumple it around the edges of the bunny. And you can see there that I did both sides. And then I'm going to use some of this white chalk paint to dry brush on across my paper bag. Not a super full coverage, um, just kind of brushing it on. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my tray, brushing around the sides on the outside and those inside edges. Next, I'm gonna start distressing my bunny with some of this antique linen distress ink, just kind of going around the edges and lightly over those raised parts of the bunny. And I am decorating both sides the same way. Then I'm gonna use this vintage photo color to go around the edges again because the antique linen dried a little lighter than I would have liked, but it still made a nice um, bottom layer. And then I'm gonna use the same process to distress my little tray, focusing on the corners and the edges, and then also spreading some in the middle with both of the colors. I'm using my blending brush there to kind of blend it in on those corners and just make it look nice and grungy. Then I have some pieces of this foam insert that I cut apart. I'm gonna hot glue it down into the bottom of my tray. And then I'm going to take some of this green Spanish moss to um, put in the bottom and glue down on top of that foam. I'm just kind of spreading a couple of pretty thick handfuls here because I don't want you to be able to see through. I want it to be a pretty thick coverage there. And this is my first time using the green moss. I normally use the brown, um, but I do like it. And next I'm gonna take this piece of bamboo skewer and wipe it down with some white chalk paint distress that a little bit. And then in my bunny, I pre-drilled a little hole, so I'm gonna put some hot glue on the end and just push it in as far as I can to hold my bunny on there. And then I'm going to wrap some of this twine around it just to decorate that pole a little bit. And you'll see later, I pretty much cover most of that up, so I guess that's just optional, but I just thought it was a nice touch anyways. And now I can stick my bunny down into that foam so it looks like he's jumping over the tray. Now I'm gonna work on my bow. I'm gonna tear off a few strips of this drop cloth and start layering that into my bodabra just back and forth um, a couple times each for each strip. Making sure that my loops are even and my edges are the same. Then I'm gonna take some pieces or a strip of this cheesecloth and layer that back and forth several times to finish off my bow. Once I have all my layers on, then I can just simply pull my string up, give it a snug tie, flip it over, and tie it in a knot in the back. And then I can just fluff it up, adjust it how I need it, and now I have a bow that's ready for my bunny. I'm also going to reattach that little bow that came on his neck. And then I'm going to glue it on this stick right below his belly and tie it on the back side. I left some of that string long so that I could tie it. And since you can see both sides, I made two, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna glue it on the back side. I'm not gonna tie that one on, but I'm gonna glue it so that it matches. And here's a look front and back. And here I have some glittery eggs from the Dollar Tree. I'm dipping them into some Mod Podge and water so that I can kind of secure that glitter on and dull down that shine a little bit. Um, and then I'm just dry brushing on some of that white chalk paint. I still want the color to show through a good bit. I'm just trying to kind of dull it down a little um, so that it's not quite so bright. You know, bright colors are not always my thing. If you like it bright, you could definitely just leave them as they are. But for my style, I'm just trying to tone it down a little bit. 
You can see that I did it to each of the colors in the bag. And now I'm just going to wrap some twine around um, the egg and glue it kind of around in a spiral pattern. I'm really just trying to make it look kind of rustic, but also with that small pop of color. So here's my little eggs. And then I'm just going to start gluing them randomly in the bottom of my little tray. I'm sorry it's really hard to see here, but I'm just kind of gluing them in in different directions and randomly along that grass. When I turn it around, you can kind of see where I put them. Um, not really any rhyme or reason, just putting them in there. And then for a last touch, I decided to make this little tag. I'm still kind of on the fence if I like it better with or without the tag, but I stamped on the word hop and then I crumpled it up and distressed it a little bit. And then I just glued it into my bow so that it would be hanging down a little bit. And I did make one for both sides. I don't know. What do you think? Tag or no tag? Let me know in the comments. Either way, thanks for watching my video today. And I do hope it inspired you to get a little crafty. Have a blessed day.